You want to know the insults that you hear when you're in a narcissistic relationship? I'm going to give you a whole bunch of them right here in this video. Hey there, I'm Rebecca Zung, and I am an attorney. I'm also a narcissist negotiation expert, and I've helped millions of people go from lives of drama, drama, and chaos to lives of freedom, possibility, and purpose. I've written two best-selling books, Negotiate Like You Matter and Breaking Free, a step-by-step -step divorce guide, and I want to help you too. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so that you can also break free and negotiate your best life when it comes to dealing with narcissists. Okay. So what are the types of insults that you hear in a narcissistic relationship? All right. So I'm going to give you a whole bunch of them and I'm going to save the best one till the end. Like I'm going to give you nine of them. So number one, number one is who else would love you the way that I would, or who else would want you? And it's like so backhanded. They tell you they love you and they start off with love bombing and they start off with how wonderful you are and how amazing you are. And you're so gorgeous and handsome or sexy or fantastic, even in a business relationship, because I was in a business relationship with a narcissist. And they start off like where you're just the most charming, sexy, amazing, wonderful. Blah, 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 blah. And then they start insulting you. They start devaluing you. They start saying like, no one else thinks that you're amazing. Nobody else would love you the way I would. Who else would want you? You know, so they start like isolating you in that way. So that's number one. It's like sort of backhanded thing. It's like, I love you, but no one else would. All right. So that's number one. Number two is don't say anything to embarrass me. So you're like walking into a party, you're walking into a function and you're like all happy. You're fine. Life is good. And then all of a sudden they say this thing, like, don't say anything to embarrass me. Why would I say anything to embarrass you? Maybe they think you're stupid. Maybe they think that you don't know what you're talking about. But anyway, they say, don't say anything to embarrass me. So like now you're like worried about what it is that's going to come out of your mouth because you're afraid that you're going to say something to embarrass them. You know, maybe you're going to a work function with them or something like that. And you're worried that you're going to say something that might embarrass them. So that's number two. Number three is they'll say, you have no idea what you're talking about. Or they might just out and out, just flat out say that you're stupid or that you're an idiot. They either will, will say that you have no idea what you're talking about or that you're just flat out stupid. And so that's the next one. And then the next one is that you're just worthless. They'll say this in a number of different ways, like that you're just terrible with money or that you're a terrible driver or that you're just worthless when it comes to doing something or that you're horrible at cleaning. They'll tell you that you're worthless, but they may not come right out and say it in that specific way. But in so many ways, you get the sense that they think that you're worthless. So that's number four. Similarly, I have a video on the narcissist's favorite catchphrases, which you could definitely check out. And, you know, that's another one of my videos. And I do want you to put a mantra in the comments below, which is, I will not listen to their lies because this is all a bunch of lies. And I want you to understand that this is just a bunch of their projection and deflection. They are projecting their own sense of no self-worth onto you. They are very empty inside and people treat other people the way they feel about themselves. You know, hurt people hurt people. They have no sense of self. They have no sense of self-worth. And so they are projecting this 
bunch of crap onto you. And so I do want you to understand that the reason why they are emotionally abusive, which is what this is, is because they are hurting inside. So don't take this on. All right. So we're only halfway through, but I do want to stop and just say this because don't take this on. This has nothing to do with you. This only has to do with them. All right. So number five is that other person is more attractive, thinner, smarter, younger looking, whatever. I mean, so they'll compare you to somebody else and make you feel like less because that other person looks better than you in some way. All right. You know, they'll just make a comment about how you look less good than somebody else. So that's number five. Number six is something about your family. They'll say, you know, your family is stupid. Your family is trash. Your family is messed up in some way. Your family is bipolar. Your family has issues. Your family is dysfunctional, uneducated, horrible, whatever, a bunch of degenerates, losers. They'll say things about your family because a lot of times they were trying to actually isolate you from your family. So they'll say things about your family. Maybe they'll call your family a bunch of narcissists. They'll your family hates you. Your family is awful, that sort of thing. So that's the next one. Number seven is I never loved you. I never loved you. I never cared about you. I was just using you. That's a really hurtful one now, isn't it? I mean, the truth of the matter is they don't have the ability to even love themselves. So again, you can't take this stuff personally. It's so hurtful. I mean, they can be so hurtful. And they may even say something like, I was never attracted to you. I never wanted you. They can be so awful, but they may say something like that too. Number eight They may say something like, if you had shown me enough attention sexually, if you had shown me enough care, love, whatever, then I wouldn't have cheated on you. In other words, I cheated on you because you made me, because you didn't give me enough sex, because you didn't give me enough physical attention, something like that. And they blame you for the fact that they went out and cheated definitely seen this a lot as a divorce attorney. Just don't allow them to put that on you. And you know, the other one that's actually very similar to this is that you cause me to be an addict. Your behavior caused me to become a a drug addict, an alcoholic, or something like that. Don't allow them to put that on you. And the last one, the last one is your career is a joke. You don't make enough money. You are inadequate. You're a horrible provider, all that sort of thing. And this is especially horrible for men, by the way. It's a much worse insult for men. I've definitely seen that. It definitely can erode at the marriage. And, you know, when when you're not respected in the relationship, it's horrible. And I always say there's a three A's that erode at the marriage, abuse, addiction, and adultery. And when you have even one of these, then you can't stay married to a person usually because it just erodes away at the foundation of a relationship and abuse, even if it's emotional abuse is abuse. And when you were married to a narcissist, it's constant abuse. So if you are thinking that you might be in a relationship with a narcissist and you're not sure, I have a quiz, which is in the description below here, which you're welcome to check out. Are you in a relationship with a narcissist? It's in the quiz below. And I do have a partnership with better help, which you are welcome. If you think you might need online therapy, which you can check that out below as well. And I also have a free crush my negotiation prep worksheet, which you can check out when my negotiation.com. And 
If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so now. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. I upload brand new content every day right here for you. I'm the only attorney that's doing this in a powerful way for offering free negotiation advice every single day. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and make sure you like this video and you share it out so that other people get access to this information. And remember that today is a great day to start negotiating your best life. And I will see you guys in the next video.